All right, people. So I am farting around, wobbling around <laughs> in the kitchen. My legs is still not under me. Under me. Uh, getting ready to cook. I'm um, getting ready to make one of my little home soups that I make. And uh, like I say, it's like 4:30 in the morning or something like that. So I got to eat for the weekend, and of course, this is how I do it in the crock pot. So we put a uh, Put this together right quick and see how it comes out. So what we got is some kale. I'm gonna chop all of that up um, and put it in my crock pot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add my vegetables now. I have some beans. And I have some cut green beans. And I have some sweet peas. And finally, I have a can of corn. Okay, and that's gonna be it as far as my canned vegetables. All right, what I have here is some uh, sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna chop those up and put those in a pot because even though they sliced, I don't want those bigger pieces of mushrooms floating around in my food. Okay, so I put that whole container of uh, mushrooms in there. I chopped it up, put it on top, and as you can see, this this is a big ass uh, crock pot, and it is uh, filling up. And I'm not even I'm not even finished with my ingredients. Oh my goodness! And next, I'm going to add these two zucchini. Uh, chop those up and add those to the mix So I got the zucchini added and we are getting kind of close to the finish line here And the next addition are these peppers here. They're not hot peppers. They'll add a little bit of color But that's about it. So I'm gonna chop these up and put those in the pot as well So <clears throat> I got the peppers added the only regret is, is that those pe those peppers don't really carry a lot of flavor. It just it just it's just color. That's it's just a garnish, but they're in there. And of course, I got celery. And that's going in the pot in a minute. Okay, now I have my celery incorporated into all of this, and I have one more ingredient. <laughs> It ain't a room in there. I got one more ingredient. And that ingredient is carrots. Usually I would have the baby carrots or some diced carrots or canned carrots, but this is what I got in the house because I was using this for salad. So um, what I'm going to do is, even though it's shredded, I'm going to run the knife over that, chop it up a little bit more fine, and then put it in the pot. At least if I can find some room for it. Okay, it looks kind of stupid, but and it is really full. But I got all my solid ingredients in there. Now it's time for me to add my seasoning and my um, uh, stock to it. Okay, so I added uh, some chopped onions and some minced garlic right there to the top of this already overflowing pot. And next, we have my house seasoning here that I put on everything. You see, I'm almost at the bottom of this big thing here, but I got a bunch of stuff over there to make me another one of these. It ain't gonna be the same, but it'll be another big mix of every seasoning. And you just, that'll but be enough right there. And now it is time to add vegetable stock. And I'm just going to pour it. I got two of these. Just rinse all of that down where it's supposed to be. All right. And I got another one I'm going to add. Okay, so I added the other bottle of stock and I had to add uh, 
a bit more water to level it up because this thing is full but it is mostly kale the most of the bottom up to here is kale so that's going to cook all the way down because this is going to be under low heat for about five or six hours so next time i come back uh i will probably check on it agitate it a little bit mix it up let it cook some more and after five six hours it'll be done all right it is um 10 something in the morning and this stuff been on for a while i'm gonna let this sit and you can see i mixed it up and it looks like a pile of pig slop with all them vegetables and stuff in there but i did i gave it a taste test and it uh it tastes like it's supposed to taste. <laughs> I took the top off. I looked at it. I was like, ah! So, yeah, I mixed it up. And um, you see, that's mostly kale is what you see, which is probably the most important thing in this whole thing is that kale because that's what I need uh, in my diet the most is the leafy greens and all that other stuff that I got up in here. And I tasted it. And like I said, it tastes like it's supposed to taste. Uh, with the seasoning that I put in there so it's not um, salty or nothing like that which is the whole purpose of this uh, uh, thing here is to have something that's not salty um, that has some flavor to it you can add flavor if you want I can add some hot sauce or whatever the fuck uh, but since I'm on a low sodium low potassium and um, low phosphorus diet um this is basically what my diet looks like um for the foreseeable future until me and my kidney problems and all that stuff uh clear up or if it's ongoing this is what i'm gonna be eating so yeah i will plate this a little bit later or it's gonna be on the heat for a while so um i'm gonna let it cook down a little bit more and then we're gonna see what it do okay people so this is the end result it is the next day after well not the next day it's later on in the afternoon it's like 2 30 or something all right so this is the end result right here it don't look as bad as it did at first <laughs> and i got my serving right here and my little serving cup that i eat out of and i'm going to um uh, take a bite and uh actually see what it tastes like All right, people, so here we go. I got my little serving cup here with my, I call it a soup, but yeah, whatever, it's a soup. My soups and my stews all look the same. It just, it's just a determination of how big a chunks I wanna use. So here we go, the moment of truth. Yeah, this is exactly how this is supposed to taste. Mm. It's not overly seasoned, but you can tell there's something in there. And you can actually taste um, the individual vegetables, which is how I like my food. I like to actually taste the food that I'm eating. I don't need everything to taste like the seasoning. I don't see the point in that. You might as well just fucking eat the fucking seasoning. <laughs> Put the seasoning in some water and drink that shit. So yeah, and like I said, my seasoning don't have, it, it got some salt in it. I think I probably mixed some stuff in it that had a little bit of salt in it. Uh, but the whole point of this was to be as guilt-free and beneficial to me personally as possible because now that I'm on a restricted diet, I can't have anything. I can't have like spinach, tomatoes, uh, potatoes. There ain't no potatoes in here. Uh, and I would usually have that in my soups, you know, diced up potatoes or something and stuff like that. Uh, stuff that would seemingly be healthy, but for me personally right now that I can't really eat. That's what's in this soup here, except for the beans. The beans. It's not enough of those beans in there to really cause any problems. 
but it was the last can. So, and you know, you you boil a bunch of the potassium and stuff out of there. But anyway, that's uh, this is what I'm working with, and this is my dinner over the weekend. Um, and I hope that uh, y'all get some kind of ideas. You know, like I say, this is how I cook. This is not that much different from the last uh, video I made when I made me another soup. So, this is how I eat. And uh, bone appetite, because I'm going to eat this right here and take all my medications that I got to take. So, y'all have a good one. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.